Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In today's video, we are going to see the part 2 of block cipher modes of operation. As I said, we have total 5. In the previous video, I explained 2 and in this video, let us see the remaining 3. Okay, with that, we are going to close this topic. In the next video, I'll explain about stream cipher, stream cipher algorithms and so on. Okay, so let's get started now. So here in cipher feedback mode, you will be using feedback, cipher feedback mode. In short, it is called a CFP, cipher feedback. Okay, so here you have something new, a register. This is called as the top register. Okay, this is called as the top register. You'll have it on both encryption side and decryption side. This is encryption side. This is decryption side. In both the sides, you will be using the encrypt function itself. Okay, so in the previous two modes, how we have learned that we've seen both encryption and decryption happening on the same side and we've seen different, different, like it has so many rounds. But here, we are going to learn only one round and this part is going to be encryption and this part is going to be decryption, okay? So first, what happens is you have the shift register and the size of that shift register is n bits, okay? Sh uh, top register or shift register, whatever it is, the size of that top register is n bits. It can accommodate n bits in that, okay? And what is the size of a plain text plain text size is equal to s bits in this the size of the top register is n bits and the size of the plain text is s bits okay now what you will do is you will be encrypting the n bits whichever which are present in the top register with the help of key then you will be getting a cipher text which is of again n bits okay but actually what is the size of the plain text s bits right so what you have to do is from that n bits you need to select s bits msb bits okay most significant bits you know right so you need to pick up s bits from those n bits got it and now after choosing those and how that s value should be it should be 1 is less than s is less than n that s value should be between somewhere between 1 and n that is the rule okay so you need to select s bits as msb and those s bits will be xor'd with the plain text because in order to do the xor operation you should have both of them having the same number of bits right so you are selecting s bits from the cipher text and plain text which is already of s bit size you are doing the xor operation and you'll be getting the final cipher text okay got it now what happens is this final cipher text will be given to the top register as a feedback okay now once you give to it to the top register the top register will be shifting towards the left side why in order to accommodate this cipher text in order to accommodate the cipher text inside it it will shift towards left side how many other bits are required those many bits it will shift towards the left side and the cipher text is accommodated done so this cipher text the final cipher text which you get as a result is given to three things it sent is sent to three areas Okay, first is to this top register and the second is to this top register which is on the decryption side. Okay, even on the decryption side also the same process will happen and the function also you will be using the encrypt function only. You will not use any separate decrypt function in order to do the decryption in this mode. Okay, the same function and the third place where it is sent is to this. I'll say, I'll tell you this. So, you are getting the cipher text though the register will be shifting towards the left and again you'll have n bits in that n bits will be exhort will you will be encrypted encrypting that and after encrypting that you will be getting the cipher text right again the cipher text what you will do from this you have to select s msb bits okay got it now after you select the s msb bits again you need to do the xor operation with the cipher text here what you have done you have done with the plain text right xor operation is done with the plain text in order to get the cipher text but here what you do you will be doing the xor operation with this cipher text in order to get the plain text got it so this is how cipher feedback mode will work the cipher text which you got here the cipher text will act as a feedback to the both encryption register and both and decryption register as well got it so as i said in the beginning of the video itself this will be encryption side and this will be decryption side so this is encryption and this is 
is decryption got it and both sides you will be using the encryption function encrypt function only got it next the top register is filled with initialization vector so this top registers are initially they are filled with the initialization vector on you um, you when you keep on generating the cipher text the cipher text will be going and replacing that initialization vector okay the initialization vector will shift towards the left side and so you can accommodate the cipher text in that got it so this is all about the cipher feedback mode okay now the next mode we have is the output feedback mode output feedback mode in short it is called as OFB so here in output feedback mode what will happen is it is everything same as cipher feedback mode the only difference is you are giving cipher text as a feedback right but here you will be giving the output as a feedback here output refers to SMSB bits don't worry I'll tell you so this is the cipher feedback mode diagram right what you are doing here is the cipher text is generated and you are giving that cipher text as a feedback but you need not give this as a feedback from here you this this connectivity from here this line you will not have the s msb bits will be given as a feedback to this and to this also this cipher text will be same this process will be same the only thing is instead of giving the cipher text as feedback you will be giving this s msb bits as feedback got it so this is the about cipher feedback mode and the output feedback mode output feedback mode everything is same as cipher feedback mode only the difference is instead of giving the cipher text as a feedback you will be giving the smsb bits as the feedback which is nothing but the output got it so this is about the these two modes and the last mode we have left out was with i think counter mode i'll explain that as well in the in this video itself okay now counter mode so here it is almost similar to the first mode electronic code book mode mode but he, but there in electronic code book mode what we did we direct we have directly taken the plain text right so here instead of directly taking the plain text we are dividing we are giving it in the form of a counter okay so you are give, you are taking a counter and you are giving the plain text in form of a counter and the what will be the size of this counter the plain text size whatever is the plain text size the same will be the size of the counter as well now using this so counter is nothing but simply here plain text okay so using the counter value and the key you will be encrypting and once you encrypt you will be getting the output right so that output you need to do the XOR operation with the plain text then you will be getting the cipher text got it and in order to get the plain text from cipher text you need to again follow the same process the reverse process you have to follow got it so the same will happen next previously what did we take p1 p2 and so on up to pn we did right so but here it is not like that each time the counter will be incremented with one with whatever value you are starting each time the counter will be incremented by one plus one okay so here it is plus one the next time it will be plus two the next time it will be plus three so the last time it will be counter plus n minus one because for the second round what you're doing plus one right so for the nth round it will be n minus one so counter plus n minus one the same process will happen okay same process in the sense counter will act as a plain text that will be encrypted and you will be getting the output encrypted with the help of key and that output will be XORed with p1 then you will be getting the cipher text if you follow the reverse process you will be getting the plain text as well got it so this is about the counter mode simple the only thing that you have to remember in counter mode is every time the counter will be incremented by one only by one got it so this is about the block cipher modes of operation we have discussed all the five modes i hope it is clear for you if yes hit the like button and also if you want me to make any other videos on any other topics or any other subjects just let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely try to make it for you for sure